Hey, where do you want me to put these? Uh, over there is great. Just uh, these. Uh, what? These are uh, from the department. Yeah, yeah. I got another box in the car. I'll, yeah. uh, I'll grab it. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Cruz. Um, Eden uh, gave me a call just uh, about half an hour ago. She uh, she said you hadn't come home last night. She was worried. Uh, That's funny. She knows I'm working on a case. Well, you know, it's working on a case 24 hours a day. <sighs> Look, uh, if there's just anything I can do, Michael. Uh, there isn't. So your father thought it'd be nice if we had a family dinner tonight since we all miss Thanksgiving. I hope you and Cruz don't let me have plans. No, we don't. But he won't come. You don't know that until you ask him. I don't have to ask him. Do you know how many hours he's spent in this house lately? He comes home to see Chip and Adriana, but always when he knows I'm not here. If he's sleeping, he must be doing it at the office. You can put a stop to that, Eden. How? He won't talk to me. He will listen to you. No, he won't, Mother. Whenever I talk to him, I say the wrong thing. I think I'm losing him. You're not losing him. But you are pushing him away, and he'll listen to you if you say what he needs to hear, what he wants to hear, which is that you love him, and you were turning your back on Robert Barr forever. Changed. Yeah, well, maybe the chef uh, had to take off. I brought you one of Rose's special seats. Oh, thanks. So sweet. You seem to be feeling better. Oh, actually, what I'm feeling is bored. I want to get out of here. I lie around reading six or seven hours a day and spend the rest of the time staring at the walls. It's way too much time to think. Eden's not going to come by today. We're uh, having a family dinner for Thanksgiving. Sounds festive. You love her more than ever, don't you? I don't want to talk about Eden. Do you realize what she's risking by coming here and spending so much time with you? Why don't you just let her go, Robert? Eden and Cruz love each other. They have a family together. And this obsession that Look, you... Look, I am not obsessed with her. Whatever my feelings are for Eden are nobody's business but my own. You seem to think it's all just black and white. Well, it's not. Isn't it? Eden and Cruz have a love that most people will never even know. She may be here because she feels obligated, because she feels guilty, because you're hurt. But in the end, it's going to be very apparent where her heart is. Mm. Why are you here? Because I'm grateful to you for helping us stop to know. I see. One sister's grateful and the other's obligated. Sounds like a case study. It's amazing how easily you can explain emotions, Kelly. If you think I'm here because I'm... Look, you could have used the phone, right? So could Eden. It's not as simple as that, is it? There's some things that don't adhere to the laws of the Capwell. Maybe we're all <clears throat> struggling with feelings we can't control. Have a nice day, Robert. Uh, Greta's been a big help on the decorations. Well, it's really starting to feel like Christmas. Yeah. Uh, did you bring that little baby you've been taking care of? Uh, no, actually, a neighbor was watching after her. Oh, that's too bad. I was really looking forward to seeing her. Excuse me. 
Cruz, um, can I talk to you for a second? I was expecting a uh, report about Tunnell's funeral. Nothing much to report, Ethan. Boswell tells me you've been working 18, 20 hours a day, and uh, it's an important case, but you really don't have no, to push no, yourself no, no, to no, the listen, limit. No, 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 listen, Ethan, if I'm working hard, it's because I'm enjoying myself. Really? Yeah, I'm happy to have my job back, so you should tell Victor to mind his own business. Right. Don't you worry about it. Cruz? Your office told us we'd find you here. All right. I'm sorry to bother you. It's been real difficult to find you. You've been working so hard. Yeah, I know. Is there a problem? No. It's just that um, the whole family's getting together for dinner tonight since we all missed Thanksgiving. And Daddy thought... You suggesting I go? Well, I'm asking you. I realize you're upset. But since everybody's going to be there, I thought that maybe we could be there, too. If you and I could have a chance to talk. I don't know. At a family dinner? Well, I mean, there. And we, uh, we can't talk here, I understand. I don't mean to bother you. I know you're working, so, um, if you change your mind about the dinner, I'll be at home. Cruz, you know how a father feels proud when his son follows in his footsteps? Well, not this time. Take it from me, son. Running away from your family doesn't work. It doesn't prove anything. His widows. very much. I'm so sorry Carmen couldn't make it tonight. Well, she said she didn't want to come and give everyone her cold. Uh, well, it's good to have you here, Effie. Uh, come on, let's have a drink. Thank you. We'll do. <laughs> hi. 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 Oh, good to see you. Oh, well, I'm so glad that you're both here. My gosh. Now, come on now. Let's get that drink. Go. Right. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Unfortunately, we don't have Greg and Ted here, but we have the rest of the family here. You, you, and so we have good friends here. Everybody said we got. All right, here we go. Now, that's it. Are you ready? No. What? No. This time, I am making the toast. You? I am making the toast. Bravo! Thank you very much. And this time is going to be short and sweet. To this family. Nothing can ever tear this family apart. Here, here. Here, here. Cheers. It is nice to have all of us here like this. We worked very hard fighting Tanel. Mm. Heard the battle's not over, CC. Well, we got Tanel's will hanging over our heads for for a while, anyway. You were in Vegas. What, what what's the word over there? Well, I don't think we're going to learn anything more until that will is read. Mm, probably right. Well, oh, come on, Raphael. You're empty. Let's fill that thing up. All right.
Sorry, I can't help. Have you seen him today? No. Mm. Who's he? Strange. It's the strangest thing. You know, how many times have we been in this house with these people? How many times have our kids been playing upstairs? I feel like I've never been here before. Doesn't have to be that way. Maybe not, but that's the way it is. I thought it might be okay, but uh, I don't. I don't belong here. Just like that, I don't belong here. It's amazing. What do you want me to say? What do you want me to do? Have you got so little faith in what we mean to each other? What I have faith in doesn't seem to make a difference anymore. That's to me. Obviously more than you possibly could ever know. What do you expect from me? You, you expect me to solve this? Do you really think I can sit back and pretend everything's all right while you go through this endless process of deciding whether or not you want to be with me anymore? Whether or not you, you're going to choose me or him? I can't do that. And you know it. The only thing we don't seem to know how to do now is end this. It, it's, 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 uh... Wait. Come on, everybody. Dinner is served finally, right. and I, for one, can't wait. Oh, it looks beautiful. Great, because Rosa was as excited as I was that we were all having Thanksgiving dinner, even though it was late. She was, she really wanted to Oh, that's this. lovely. I, I want to thank all of you for my first Thanksgiving in many, many years. Oh, well, like, up for all of them tonight. All right. All right. You see the table they set up for the kids? Samantha and Chip are helping to feed. For Eden and I to have found one another, to have known this little boy beside us, to have been able to anticipate with joy the baby to come. We are truly a blessed family. Amen. Amen. Well, if everybody has what they want, I think it's time to offer a prayer. We thank you for this food and for the opportunity we all have to gather together on this day. We're especially thankful for the love that binds this family and all families together. A love born out of mutual respect and uh, understanding. A love that has made all of the families represented at this table so very strong. Though we have the blessings of sustenance, a beautiful home, and our health. Without love, life would be meaningless. Excuse me. This is not a lot of fun, is it? Well, I can't do it. But you did want to come here, right? Not if everything's going to be a lie. Everything isn't a lie. Just us. Of course, people do it. Sometimes for years, sometimes for the rest of their lives. This marked their anniversary on the calendar. Watch them go by. They don't fight. They don't cry. They probably don't even complain. After a while. I think you stop remembering what it was like to be happy. Only 
remember that it's a rare thing and that you had it once and I guess you finally decided that that's all you had a right to expect. And maybe they really do tell themselves that it's for the sake of the kids at first. But I think as time passes, you either forget or just come to your senses and stop thinking of it as any great sacrifice. People can learn to live with whatever they want. They can learn to live with nothing. Is that what you want? There's no reason to. Nothing has happened. Nothing's changed. You have this idea, and I don't know where the hell you got it, that I don't feel the same way as I used to feel about you. When the truth is, I need you now that probably I have ever needed you in my entire life. I haven't lied. I haven't snuck behind your back and done something stupid and humiliating with another man. I haven't dreamt about it. I haven't considered it. I haven't even thought, if, if only I didn't have kids, if I didn't have this big obligation, not once. At this point in time, if you don't betray me eventually, you'll spend the rest of your life wondering what it would have been like. You love him, and I can't abide it. I don't want to. I mean, I hate this. It embarrasses me. And I don't even know if it's true. I only admit to it because I don't know what the hell it is. And you're so damn sure. I mean, you are my life. I, I love you. And I need for you to love me enough to stand by me through all of this. And I, I will not come out of it. You don't understand at all, do you? I love you too. It doesn't matter. I have all, the man I am, the man I have become. It's only because I've been able to be there for you. I've been able to be what you needed. But I can't do this. I'm not going to share you with another man. I have a little bit of respect for myself. I'm not going to be the only thing standing between you and what you really want. If you really wanted me, you would have walked away from Robert Barr months ago when it was still possible, like I asked you to do. You chose him. I can't stay here. I understand that. God knows. Will you please come home with me? Yeah. Sure. I'll, uh... I'll make, uh, an explanation. I'll be waiting. I'm sorry, but I don't think that's going to be possible. Where's Eden? She, uh... We're going to go. So please make our apologies for... Uh... No apologies. Don't have to do apologies. I know the two of you need some time together. I think we have all the time together. We need. It's not that, really. Well, whatever you need. I know that the two of you are going to be okay. Sophia, don't do that, please. What I'm saying is that I, we all, all of us have faith that the two of you are going to be fine. Yeah, well, I appreciate what you're saying, but uh, I think it's time to put your faith somewhere else. Eden and I, we don't need to be believed in. We don't need to be some shining example for the rest of the family. I mean, I, I know it's, it's been nice for us to believe in it, and it's been nice for all of you to pretend that uh, whatever happened to make you stop feeling invincible wasn't going to happen to us, but it, ha it has happened, hasn't it? You know, everyone I know, every single person I know, I, I guess, has seen their illusions fall by the way at some point in time. And just because our turn came a little bit later doesn't mean we're not entitled to freedom from the same ludicrous illusions. 
You think about what it would felt like when you had to let go of the idea that you were up there somewhere next to the stars. You remember that? It was a time for compassion, but denying it was a waste of time. We failed, okay? Don't deny it. Enjoy your dinner. Third floor. This is Dr. Johnson. We need you in the cardiac care unit of the sixth floor. Stat. Yes, doctor. I know I've hurt you. And if you tried to get even with me tonight by hurting me, well, you did. I know I haven't been the perfect wife. And who knows, maybe I never will be. And all this confusion that I've been feeling lately has been the trouble of everything. But I can honestly tell you, from the bottom of my heart, that there hasn't been one moment in my life that I haven't loved you. And I hope you love me. And I don't understand how come we have to hurt each other. I don't understand why you don't love me anymore. Why drag this on? You, you don't... It would have to be... It would have to be over. With Robert... It would have to be... Absolutely... Over. Anything you say... <laughs> 